Now for removing, we also have three options, just like we saw for adding. We can remove from tail, front, or add an index. And first we have to check to see if our list is empty, and if it is, we just return null. And we also have to check if our size is one, and if it is, then we have to clear our list, meaning that we set our head and tail to null. Now to remove from tail, we're gonna have a previous node, and we're gonna set that to the head, and this is going to traverse the list until it gets to the node right before our tail. And then we're going to have a return data variable, which is going to hold the tails element. And then we're going to set our next element in the previous node into null. And the tail is going to be set to the previous node. And then we're going to decrement our list size and return the return data. And lastly, the Java garbage collector will take care of the previous tail. And one last thing, since we have to traverse to the end of the list, this will take linear time. Now to remove from the front of the list, we have to first store the heads data into a variable. And then we want to move our head into the next element. And then we're just going to decrement our list size and return the head data. And now since the link list has no connection with the previous head, the Java garbage collector will come by and take it away. Since it doesn't matter how long our link list is to take away the head, this will take constant time. Now if we want to remove after an index, we have a previous node and we set that to the head. And then we're just going to traverse the list until we get to the node right before the one that we want to remove. And then we're going to store the data of the node that we want to remove into a variable called node data. And then we're going to set our previous node's next variable into the node that comes after the one we want to remove. And then we're going to decrement our list size and return our node data. And lastly, since we have no access to the element we want to remove, the Java garbage collector will come and take it away. Since we have to traverse the list of it, this will take linear time.